Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Lotro with me, Balfellian. Uh, last episode we did the skirmish tutorial and today we're going to do some proper skirmishes. So let's go. Uh, not that one. Fall. Instance Finder. Um, now because I've done the tutorial now, I can actually get the, uh, the proper skirmishes showing up in the list. Um, now, in theory, all three of these should be available at level 20, as far as I know. So we've got a Siege of Gondamon, which is a defensive skirmish. So you have to defend the uh, the various locations that the enemy attacks. Trouble in Tuckborough is an offensive skirmish. So we have to go and capture all the points like we were doing in uh, the first tutorial. Uh, and Stormon Mephedras will not be accessible to you unless you have purchased it. Um, because that is a premium skirmish. But if you're VIP, you will have it anyway, like me. Um, so I think we'll do all three of those. Let's try... Let's do Siege of Gondamon first. It's probably my least favourite of the three, get it done out of the way. Tier 2? Yeah, why not? Um, so we'll just do that one solo, like we were. The Dowerhands have forged an alliance with the Blue Crag Goblins and have laid siege to Gondamon for nearly two weeks. The final assault will soon be launched. Now, if you've been playing an elf or a dwarf, and you've been uh, leveling in Ered Luin, you may be familiar with Gondamon, which is this uh, town in kind of the middle area here, halfway between the elf and dwarf areas. So let's talk to this guy. Gondamon has been a free city so long as I have ever known. Our hand wished to take that from you, to take your homes and slaughter your families. But I say not today, I say we stand, I say we fight! Let's go then. Now to the walls! We defend Gondamon to our last breath. Well you don't, you just sit there don't you? Okay, so enemies on the, on the march to the south. Now Gondamon has three points to defend, which are basically the south gate, the west gate and the north gate and one guy's going to run off to each of those places um, so we don't have too far to run they'll come to us and basically uh, their objective is to try and kill our ally friends here so if you can keep these guys alive best to do it otherwise you'll get less uh, less rewards anyways on the march to the south stay here then wait for them to come up just come wait over here um, a lieutenant of the enemy has joined the battle. What is this one going to be? Bearer of Blight. Well, he affects everyone with status effects. Let me say that. Right, so, we want to take him out first. I think he's just disarmed me. Okay. Oops, sorry, as you can see, the. Uh, Regional deeds will advance in skirmishes. So I'm getting the goblins and the uh, wolves in Eridluin deeds done for doing this. So it can be a handy way to get some uh, deeds done, even without trying. Enemies on the march to the north. Let's go to the north. My soldier just follows me around. Don't need to tell him to move anywhere. Okay, weak goblin fire lobber. <laughs> But you'll, you'll notice uh, enemies tend to have something descriptive in front of their name. So weak means they're rubbish. Hell means they're a bit less rubbish. Um, so you may want to choose to prioritise. I'm getting some bad um, There we go, he's dead. Uh, on the march to the west. You may want to choose to, um, to focus the weak enemies down just to reduce the number of enemies. Or you might want to take out something a bit more dangerous. Uh, there's something dangerous in the battlefield, so it doesn't do as much damage to you. Oh, what is up with my connection today? I'm getting so much loss. 15% loss rate on my connection. Something's horribly wrong. Um, I'm being attacked by one fat dwarf. I'm just going to stand there, okay. I think that's more of a connection thing than uh, him choosing to just stand there. God damn it. Oh, hello. 
Where'd that wolf come from? Just can't click the buttons, damn it. Oh, enemies on the march to the dwarf. Let's go. I think it's falling at last. Nope, it's going up to 18. What have we got here? We've got a Shepherd of Filth. He makes worms appear on the floor and they explode and do a bit of damage. And we go, come my corners and destroy my enemies. Splat. And they do what? Reduce my uh, attack duration, run speed and skill inductions. Uh, they're still coming to the north. Let's defend that chap because he's uh, he's gone down to yellow. If he come and fight these guys out here, then uh, he shouldn't get aggroed. They should heal up. Enemies on the march to the west. So far, this is proving. Pretty easy even on uh, tier 2. Probably just because we're only just above level 20. They do get quite tricky quite fast. There's nothing worse than spending like 20 minutes or whatever doing a skirmish. You get right to the end and then because you're doing it on tier 2 or tier 3. Suddenly something gets really hard. You die. Foul the skirmish. You'd have to start the entire thing again. It's horrible when that happens. Um, so the first assault has been defeated. Now in Gondamon, I believe there are four assaults. Um, so we get a, a chance for a little breather. The, uh, the NPC should uh, heal up. And then there should be another fight going down somewhere at some point. Come on, pick a side. North. So we've just got some uh, average Joes coming again. Off again. Well, oh. we've got a Daywalker Berserker. Now this guy, when he gets aggroed, he'll put a shield up like that. As you'll see from his buff. Titan's Rage, he basically becomes immune to damage for 20 seconds. Um, so if you've got any form of crowd control, um, you should be able to crowd control him in a solo skirmish. Maybe a, a small group uh, skirm. Um, just until that turns out. But in bigger groups, if you're in a raid skirmish or something, you can't CC anything. So uh, you just have to tank him and deal with him until that shield runs out. And he will put it up eventually if uh, you take too long, but we should be fine. There he goes, he's dead. New deed for killing five of those. I do you believe it's five... You need to kill each lieutenant five times for um, the first tier of the deed. And 50 times for the second, we'll soon find out. You just stowed. Defeat many Daywalker Berserkers in skirmishes. Yeah, it's five of the first uh, but These are on the skirmish page of your deed log. So they're pretty easy to find. And they're split into instances. So for the deeds for completing all the objectives in a skirmish instance. And skirmish lieutenants. Which are the same lieutenants across all skirmishes. But depending on your group size have different uh, possible lieutenants that will show up, they're completely random. But some lieutenants only show up for large group sizes, mainly because they're bloody hard. Um, some might need like only a, a three man group instance or something. Um, and then there are kind of like the really common ones, which will come in the solo ones because they're not too hard. He's nearly dead, he's dead, she's dead, it's dead. Um, as you can see, there's a shiny thing there. I can pick up that chest. 
Southgate flag. And use that on that, which will bring up the encounter. So, the horn of Frastar sounds from the south camp. The leader of the southern assault is coming to reclaim the planted flag of Gondor. So, in each skirmish, you can normally have up to two encounters, which are completely random. And either they can uh, be activated anyway, and they may be time sensitive, so you might need to do something pretty quick before they uh, decide to go home. Or I could have to interact with uh, an object like I did there, I needed to pick up the flag and put it on the flagpole. Or they might just be spawned in anyway um, in the skirmish, and you just need to go and fight them if you want to. As you can see, these guys are pretty. No, you're not. Oh, that was a good time to fail at a gambit there. I was trying to build a hill, and I built the boot in the nuts, but it interrupted his hill, so that works. Um, now, because I've killed one encounter in this place, I've just got another new dude, which, if I open it up, is the Siege of Gondamondi, and I need to do all five of those encounters. Now, it's not going to be possible to do those in one in one attempt at uh, Siege of Gondamon. Uh, south again. They love the south gate today. That's a uh, respawn chimp. So hopefully I'll get another encounter and I can complete one of those. And if I complete all of those, I will get a title, which is Gondamon Siegebreaker. Oh god, what have we got? Verify. So my champ is just going to be human shield. He's going to die pretty quick. There we go. But he's bought me time to kill the little to the west. We summon my chappy. And I've just dinged level 24. And I've out-leveled my companion, who is level 23. Or 22. He's a level lower than me. Okay, he's 23. So if I de-summon him. Um, so, pet menu. Dismiss. Resummon him. Where are they coming from? North. Save the North, man! Venomous blood arrow. Oh, he's dead. Oh, God, I'm failing this so badly. Although the lag's not really helping. Um, so Venomous Blood Arrow, he just shoots people with his bow and I believe he puts nasty bleeds on people he shoots. Encounter update. A deep voice roars from outside the south gate. I will dance as Gondamon burns. So from that text we know that there's something outside the south gate and we need to go and find it. And if I'm not mistaken, he'll be on the left. Over there. There we go, so I'll just uh, shoot him with a jab, because there's going to be more enemies coming, they're coming from the west, so I'll just pull him over to the west hand side, since that's the only place we've got an NPC left, hopefully my soldier won't get aggro, but I know it's still on me because I've got the, uh, the white ring there. My soldier has got aggro now, because he's it's taking quite a bit of damage. That's his problem. Um, I think the NPC can handle that. Still attacking the west. There we go, he's dead. Well, my soldier actually did pretty damn good against that. Um, Deathmonger. Now, these guys are bloody annoying. Because if you kill any um, other enemies while one of these is nearby, he'll resurrect them as a ghost. So you just kill an enemy and then you get a ghost instead and the number of mobs is still the same. So you always want to take out death longer first. Um, otherwise you just get nowhere. Marching on the west again. And that looks like 
Oh, that's a pair of goblins. I thought it looked like a walk. Accept that, just get that off my screen. But yeah, Gondom is not one of my favourite skirmishes because it takes forever. Oh, hello there. Downhand Stormkeeper. These can be quite dangerous, particularly in uh, high level group ones. Because um, they just do a load of tactical damage. I think they summon some kind of object, whatever they put on the floor. Which will do a nasty uh, bit of burst damage on everyone nearby, so just watch out for that. Marching on the north again. Pair of goblins. I don't know where he's run off to. But yeah, unlike normal pets, if you're a captain or a lawmaster, you can probably know you, that you've got a bit more control over your own pets or heralds. But uh, skirmish soldiers pretty much do whatever the hell they want. I mean, the only thing you can count on is that they will Leroy absolutely everything they can, probably die, and they generally like standing in front of you, which is usually why they end up Leroying everything and accidentally dying. Echo of Death. Now these things, if you hit them, so you get the thing to help. Um, if you hit them, they have a 25% chance of giving you 100% incoming melee and range damage. So if you want to hit these things, it's fine, but just be prepared that you're going to take more damage just because you have hit them, um, and that will take 20 seconds to time out like that bastard there. Um, so if you've got a load of things shooting you and then you accidentally hit the Echo of Death, you can uh, suddenly be taking a lot of damage. Which is particularly bad if you're a tank. Oh, god damn this connection. March get the south again, so we don't have to go far. I'm hoping this will be the end of the third assault. Probably see how far I'm actually getting with these uh, class deeds. No, you enemy, I think it is what I'm trying to do. 147 of 200. They've tried all three gates. The next assault will surely be the final, yet the most brutal one. We've got the fourth and final assault, and then we have the boss to round out things. Where are you going to come from? Okay. So now, now on the fourth assault, we kind of need to stay kind of on these steps because they will come from all three sides. Uh, the uh, the NPCs would have retreated somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where, but we don't have those guys anymore. Um, so we'll just wait for things to show up. Oh, hello! They come from behind. Okay, let's take the top of the stairs up. Two horns for the price of one there, that doesn't sound very good. Um, okay, they're coming from the west gate over there. And apparently some can jump down from off the top of that wall there, so... Just beware of that. Getting 
so much skill lag, it's ridiculous. Completed goblins there. So I've killed 30 goblins in Eridluin already just from playing one single uh, Eridluin skirmish. Can't argue with that, that's five turbine points for free. Is there going to be something behind me though? Yes there is. Keg master, he will yeah! drop two kegs. Oh my goodness, terrifying noise. He will drop kegs that will explode and they do quite a bit of damage. It's always good to take him out early on in the fights. And we've unlocked that deed. Seems to be getting quite a few bounties as well for uh, killing these guys just sell those to uh, NPC vendors for a bit of coin. No other use for it, but it gives me a bit of money, so come on, come on. Another deathmonger. Seems to be having trouble getting downstairs. Might need to get a stair lift or something. Battle cry erupts from the eastern platforms as the Dowerhand General enters the fray. He's over there. Laffy, today is the day you and your, you and Gondamon fought the Dowerhands. Drake, come to me. There he is. And he's flying with lag as well. Lovely. So we've got a dragon. Is this the first dragon we fought? Is Tristana? Could well be. I don't even know what gadgets I'm currently building because I've got so much. Stuff. It's just whatever comes out. There we go, he's dead. Uh, the general's here. Gondamon will be mine to battle. I stand this Be a good tank. I'll take the enemy away from the uh, Stay the line! Dead. The siege of Gondamon has been broken. The city and Maffi, their leader, are safe. I can loot his corpse. There go. Got a bit of money off of him. Not really anything else to get, get out of it, unfortunately. Um, I speak to him. Travel now. And that is the siege of Gondamon. And that actually wasn't too hard. How may I help you? So I may get really bold and try the next skirmish on tier 3. Um, but it'll probably completely bite me in the arse. Actually no, there's no way I'm doing Tugbra on tier 3. Tugbra is the tough one as it is. Um, I'll probably though invest some of these marks that I've got on my warrior. So if I upgrade him to say... There we go, he's currently level 40 technically. Um, if you upgrade that to level 40, get his armour up to level 40, um, and yeah why not, let's buy that up to level 40 as well, there we go, so my skirmish soldier is now upgraded a bit for the next skirmish, um, but I think we'll stop that episode there, and next episode uh, I think we'll try Trouble in Tugborough, so see you then.